Hey everybody, I, uh, I just drove home from New Mexico, literally 15 hours. I got out of the truck, said hello to my wife, kissed the dog. Quick correction, kissed my wife, said hello to the dog. Let's go. And I'm gonna try and deal with this antelope right now. Now I harvested this antelope. Uh, the previous video will show you. It's just absolutely fantastic. Everything I uh, heard and knew about New Mexico came true. So first things first, the reason I'm dealing with it right now is because it is so hot. This wicked heat spell that came through, it's 106. Here, I drove through 100 teens. So although I blew the brains out of the car wash, this thing's starting to get funky and it's the reason I want to deal with it quick. So I'm gonna skin him, get him in a pot, and we should have the whole thing done in about 45 minutes. First things first, let's get this hide off. Most of you know August as sheep month but it is also antelope month, especially in states like New Mexico where those great big giant antelope come from. Now, I did go to the car wash, just like I said, and I blew the brains out so I didn't get that funky, funky stink. But man, with all the heat and all that driving, it was starting to turn and I, I didn't even want to freeze it and deal with it later. So peel everything off, eyes, all the meat and tissue, remove the jaw, and then put it down in a bucket of just clear water and bring it to a boil. See how white it is when it, the hype just comes off? That's how I want it to be. I want to go skin, water, right now. 10 minutes, these horns will come off, then we'll get to spray and we'll be done. Now I'm absolutely trying to do this as fast as I can because I've been gone a few days and this should not be a priority when I got back home. However, while that's boiling, I actually took a smaller pot and added my peroxide and my water. And I want to give you a visual representation of that. So I use like a quarter bottle of aqua silk and the rest water. As soon as those horns come off, I'm going to pull the pot off the fire and get my peroxide going because it will take nothing to wash this skull. The key to black horn removal, antelope, black bucks, gems buck, any scimitar, oryx, any of those long straight horns, any of those curly horns, any of them, the twist. Get them hot to where that membrane starts to shrink and then twist. You can always smack them with a hammer, but there's nothing like that twist. Trust me. I cut the tips of those antelope horns, put it back down in the pot, remove it from the fire, start my peroxide boil, and then I get to washing. Remember, you want to spray into every hole and every orifice. Anywhere there's meat or tissue, make it go away. always feel bad about having to lower the music right when y'all are starting to get into it. So this next step here, I'm going to remove the ear butts, the auditory bull, and then I'm going to take a wafer bit and then drill that whole core open nice and clean. No sense in fighting it until all that stuff is out. Then you can take your power washer, spray inside there, and it is beautiful. Don't forget to wash your horns in and out, and then take that clean wash skull put it right down in that boiling peroxide give it two three minutes shut her down pull it out rinse it wash it set it in the sun to dry <laughs> we
to be some sort of cleaning record, right? That was a fast one, 18 minutes. Uh, that's that beautiful antelope, everything needs to dry, but uh, man, they wash up good when they're fresh. They turn out beautiful. This is only gonna dry whiter. And any little thing that's on there that maybe uh, I didn't get, I got a little piece right here. Um, it'll dry kind of yellow and it'll flake right off. So this is the uh, 2020 start for me on antelope. I could not be happier with him. He's just, just beautiful. Okay, fast forward uh, 12 hours. I've washed the skull, been sitting in front of the fan. Turn off my dryer. Orange are dusty dry. So now everything's real simple. I'm just gonna glue these horns back on, mop and glue it, and we're done. My name is Mr. B, and I love antelope horns. I'm gonna finish up using this uh, this two-part JB weld. Here we go, Mr. Beans. Nothing makes an animal look, look better than a little mop and glove. To me, that mop and glove makes it look more like they actually do on the hoof. When you get one on the ground, they look a little kind of chalky, ashen, and uh, I don't think they look like that on the hoof. I think the sun shines on them just right, and so. This to me makes it look more natural, if you can't believe that. There it is, the finished product on a Skull Max. They don't take long to do. It's not hard, and uh, with a little bit of equipment and a little bit of know-how, you can be doing your own skull work. If not, you can be doing skull work for friends or starting your own business. So many of you are still sending comments saying, hey man, I did it. I started one, and I'm doing skulls, and it's just about hunting season. Anyway, my New Mexico speed goat, technically a pronghorn, we call them antelope. I don't care what you call them. I love them. I think they're special. I think they're a fantastic hunt. And if you ever get the opportunity, go to New Mexico and hunt you an antelope and check your regs because it's real critical on where you're at. Thank you so much for watching. And for the several thousand of you that have been missing the fart, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> Welcome back, baby.